Welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Mark Siegel, sitting in for Dr. Manny. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in American men with over 30,000 deaths per year. And while studies show that there are natural ways to help prevent this disease, picking the right treatment option can be tricky. Joining me now is Dr. David Samadhi, a urological oncologist and vice chairman of the Department of Urology from Mount Sinai Medical Center. Thanks for being here, David. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for having me. Good to you. see you. I want to start with the controversy that's gone on over the last several days about the PSA, the prostate-specific prostate antigen, which I screen for all the time as a primary care doctor. Why do you think the controversy is there, and what are your thoughts on it? All the men that come to my office with prostate cancer, they're healthy. This is a silent killer. They have no symptoms. So I think the recommendation by this U.S. task force is a little irresponsible. What we need to tell and educate the patients is that you need to find a doctor who is the expert in PSA and prostate cancer, who is looking at the trend and the velocity, who is looking at you as a whole. Fair enough. Look at your family history, your race, etc., and then make recommendations. So the U.S. Preventive Service Task Force coming out against PSA over the age of 40, both you and I think, is really talking out of their hat. Now, what do you do? Let's say we both agree on the PSA. What are your thoughts on using diet and lifestyle changes to help manage prostate cancer in the early stages of the disease once you find it using the PSA? I think when it comes to diet and change of lifestyle, we know that to, in some patients that may help. If you have an obese patient, we know that, for example, sticking to healthy diet, low-fat diet, that's going to help with, not only with prostate cancer, but it's going to help with your heart, with your colon cancer, etc. But you have to be very careful about this alternative medicine or healthy diet. We, for years, we talked about the select study and the use of selenium and vitamin E, and now we're starting to find out there's an increase in 17% of prostate cancer. 17% of the patients have higher risk of prostate cancer than the ones that use vitamin E. So, and you have to be very careful about So you stay away from vitamin E. I th- who, who, who would you say, David, is a good candidate for the alternative approach? Because, you know, viewers out there need to know that David is not just a top robotic prostate surgeon. You're right. also a urologic oncologist, an expert in the disease of prostate cancer. So how do I decide who to refer for surgery and who responds to alternative treatments? That's a fair question. And I think that if you, had, for example, have a history of prostate cancer, you have elevated PSA, you've had biopsy that showed no cancer, and we're watching Watching you, or someone that has high grade pin or precancerous lesions, these are some of the patients that may, there's no cause and effect, they, they may benefit from some of these herbs and alternative lifestyle changes. So what else should you stay away from? Saw palmetto went to the waistline. We saw palmetto, there's a recent study that came out, said that the only thing that it did, it reduced the PSA so the patients felt good about themselves. And we would give them these vitamins that had saw palmetto, vitamin E, and vitamin D. Guess what? The PSA came down, but we really are not helping these patients from prevention of prostate cancer is concerned. Now, what's interesting what is... What does work, David? What does work? I think lycopene is still on the table. I think lycopene and sticking to healthy diet, low fat and exercise, reducing your stress and taking antioxidants like pomegranate. Again, I always say may because, the, you know, there's really no good clinical data. There's no evidence-based medicine in this alternative medicine field that will tell you if you take two bottles of pomegranate juice, you're safe. When should a patient consider surgery? The advantage of surgery over any other modality is that you remove the entire prostate. So it gives you a tremendous amount of inflammation and staging. What type of prostate cancer you have? How much do you have? What are the margins? What's in your lymph nodes? What's in the seminal vesicles? Your PSA six weeks after surgery should be zero. So for the rest of your life, you're going to be in control. You're going to know that you're cancer-free. If the cancer ever comes back, you still have the option of getting low-dose radiation after surgery. Now, let's talk about other options. CD implant and radiation. Again, in the hands of good radiation oncologists, your, day, your outcome is fine. But your PSA is going to fluctuate because you still have the prostate. We don't have good way of staging your prostate. So what, that, what do I mean by that? I may see someone 50-year-old with Gleason 6, which is a low-risk prostate cancer. When I take the prostate out, in 40% of the time, I may see a lot more cancer and more aggressive. So if you can remove it and you're going to 
have a tumor marker that's very specific, and you're going to do well with your continents. We have a smart technique, which we have developed, which leads to 97... What does SMART stand for, David? Samadhi Modified Advanced Robotic Technique. This is 97% continents and 80% sexual function, where we preserve the sides, endopelvic fascia. The fascia or the curtain around the prostate, I don't open it. I don't put sutures in dorsal vein complex. The less we do, the better the outcome. How does somebody decide... Who's a good urological surgeon for this procedure? You're looking for a doctor who is doing large volume of these cases, whether they're open or robotic surgeons, as long as they're well-trained uro-oncologists. The ones that keep their data, they have a continuing research going on, they're looking at their margins, continents. We have surveys that I give to the patients where we study them every three months and we keep trap on them. So those are the kind of doctors you want to, to find, the experienced doctors that are hands-on. Thank you so much for being Thanks, here. Mark. Thank Dr. You for David Samadhi. For more information, log on to Dr. Samadhi's website, roboticoncology.com. And if you have a health topic you want to talk about, send an email to drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Mark Siegel.